Welcome to our Omud Yom Ishir. Welcome to everybody here in Avas Shalom. Welcome to people in our YouTube channel, Torah Anytime and Kol Alashon. We are in Bova Metzia, Daf Tzadi Ches Omud Aleph. Tzadi Ches Omud Aleph, the topic of the sugya is what happens when a person is a shoyel and a soicher. The person somehow, and we know how from yesterday, we're going to review today, a person borrowed from his friend one cow, and also he rented from his friend another cow, right? Or he borrowed one cow, the agreement was it's going to be borrowed for half a day and rented for the other half of the day. Now the cow died. And now, or one of the cows died, or in the other story, one, it died, and we don't know when. We don't know when the cow died. We do know that the cow died, and it was a big surprise, something out of control. The cow just, you know popped up, that's it, done its job in the world, and it wasn't because of hard work, it was just natural death, suddenly it's considered as oinus, and therefore, if it happened by the time of She'ela, when the person was considered to be a borrower, then what do we say? He has to pay, a borrower surely has to pay, but if it happened in the time, or to the cow, that was what? Schirus rented, and then he is a, let's say, Shomer Socho, then what does he have to pay? Nothing. And of course, there's an argument here. What was the argument? There are four different variations to the argument of the owner and the user. Now we're dealing with case number one. The owner tells the user, I know for sure, I know for sure, no question about it, that the cow that died or the time of the death was She'ela, you were a shoyel, and he died when you were a shoyel, and therefore you have to pay. Yeah, a soicher b'she'ela has to pay full price. Says the bailim, says the user, no, excuse me, sir, actually I'm not sure, he says. I think maybe I was a soicher, but I'm not sure. So this is a classical case of bori v'shema. And the Mishnah says, if you have bori v'shema, one side is sure of what he says, the other side is wishy washy, maybe, maybe, baby, then we say that the one who's certain should be, yeah, he has the upper hand and he wins the case and he has to get paid. That would be very nice. The problem is that our Mishnah is not so good with the opinion of Rabbi Yechner of Nachman because they said, Bori v'shema love Bori Odit. They said that in case the person holds money in his hands and the money that he holds is a Shema, he's not sure, but he's the one holding the money. And that's the case over here. The shoyel, the user, is the one who holds the money, and the owner wants to get the money out of his hands, right? If so, we say, Bar v'shem alav bar yodif. According to Rav Nachman and Rav how could you manage this Mishnah? The Mishnah seems to be going against them, and there are Moiroim, they can't fight the Mishnah. Answers the Gemara, over here we're talking about a case where there was one more cow, which means there was a re- there was a shvua of moide b'miktas, which means Let's say, in the first case, there wasn't one cow, there were two cows. Yeah, there were two cows. Let's say each one is worth uh, 10,000, okay? Now, they both died, or so claims the owner. The owner says, you owe me 20,000, 10,000 for Bessie and 10,000 for Lucy. Now, and then he says, listen, says the user, the one 10,000 Bessie, I admit, it's true, and he died, and it was She'ela, yes? You're right. It was I was born in an OU. The other one, now, at that happy moment, what happens is called Moide Bemiktas. A Moide Bemiktas has to be Nishma, needs to do Shvua, needs to take Shvua. But he cannot take Shvua because what he says about the other cow is not a no, but a maybe. He says, one cow, I admit, I'm an honest guy, I'm a good guy, I admit he died, and I was a Shoyel, and next week I'll pay you. But when it comes to the second cow, what does he say? The second cow, he says, maybe. Ah, since you cannot be nishba, you have to pay. That's why he has to pay. Not because of just bor v'shema, bor being stronger. Because of a different concept called mitoch she'ein yochol yishava mishalim. A person who is at a tight spot, yeah, he's in a tight spot of he has to take shvua, but he can't be nishba on something certain, a yes, no. Because he himself says it's a maybe. Then he has to pay. Yeah, and then we also develop the other case into three cows. There were three cows involved, right? One cow, he says, yes, it's true, I admit. Yeah, I have to pay, it was show. The other two cows, 
He says, oh, the one that died was the borrowed one, says the owner. And the other one says, the user says, I don't know. Maybe it was the rented one and maybe in Potter. Ah, had you said for sure, you'd have to take Shvua. If you're being maybe, you can't be Nishba uncertain when you're a maybe. If you can't take Shvua, automatically you move into payment mode. Alan asked a very, very good question yesterday. And that question is asked by Toysfus and before we continue. And the question is, we see the Gemara, <coughs> it's in Shvuas, Daf, Memhei, Memvob, Memzayin. I'm impressed you remember. And we haven't done Shvuas yet, but we've seen it many places. Many times when a person cannot be Nishba, we do Hipuch Shvua, which means instead of him having to be Nishba, usually the one claiming the plaintiff attacks and charges against uh, the, the accused, the accused has to take shvua, or the mikzah, say dechod. Now, sometimes we reverse the shvua, yet we bounce the shvua back on the toiveh, on the plaintiff. Now, why don't we say it over here? Yeah? When do we say, and when do we say that he cannot take shvua, so the other side has to be nishva? And Tersus answers like this. Tersus says, very nice. He says, really, the right thing to do is I'm the one who is the toiveh, you have the onus of Shavua. If you can't be Nishba, you have the onus of Tashlam. That's the whole idea of Shavua, by the way. We're not looking to be to make a dr- courtroom drama and just make people be Nishba. Shavua means that if you don't take Shavua, it means you're probably a liar and you have to be Mishalim. That's the idea, right? If you don't dare to jump into the water, be Nishba, we assume that, why aren't you Nishba? Ahem, ahem, ahem. Hey, that's a normal thing. That's what it says over there, the Mishnah and Shavua, that was the Chiddush. That was the out-of-the-box idea. And he explains very nicely why. The kind of people where you reverse the shvua on the other side are people who miskenim, they cannot take shvua for whichever reason. For example, a person who is not so honest, is not a misken, maybe his fault, but he cannot take shvua because people, based in doesn't trust him. Or let's say it's a person who pays a lot of salaries in payday. He can't be nish because he can't remember. He has to pay 20 paychecks for 20 people. So we don't trust the shvua. A person who's a problem by him, he cannot take Shvua, says Tarsus, if we say, mm-hmm. if he would say that he would pay, you know what's going to happen? Listen to this. Tarsus says, there will be invitation for Schwindlers. Says Tarsus, listen to this. Let's say I lend you how much? 50 shekels. And I know that it's 50 shekels. And if I know you are in the black list of Beisdin, you're a person that cannot take Shvua, I'll charge not 50. I know you owe me 50. And I'll charge... 50,000, 50,000, and then I'll say, and you'll be Nishba on the 50. Uh, sorry, you should be Nishba. You'll, you'll be Moida on the 50 and quit for the other 50,000. But if you talk, what's going to be? You'll pay me 50,000. <laughs> people will exploit it. And in such a case of blacklisted people who said you reverse the Shvua, in this case, it's not a blacklisted person. It's a person who talks, it's his fault that he doesn't know the situation. When a person does know the situation, then, then it's really his problem, not my problem. And therefore, since he cannot take Shua, he has to pay. Yeah, we can talk about it more, but there's a bit of an Iyun Dik and a Kuda from Toysavis to answer your question. Now let's continue. The Gemara, we're in the second half of the Omud. We are, I would say, a tiny bit below the middle of the Omud. Line starts, Ularami Bar Choma. Look at the word Bar Choma. <coughs> Ularami Bar Choma, says the Gemara. We're developing the same answer, but developing even more, even further. Rami Bar Chomo, the Omar. There was an opinion of Rami Bar Chomo, which appeared in Daf Hey, the Omar. What did Rami Bar Chomo say? Dalit Shomrim, the four Shomrim, what is the classical Shvua that all Dalit Shomrim have to take in order to come out clean and get off the hook? To take Shvua that? Let's see if you're Shomer Chinam, what do you have to take Shvua? Bidiuk, Inat Pasha. A shomer sochor has to be nishba that it was oines a shoyel mesamachmas malocho. Each one has to be nishba that he was a good kid. <laughs> to to put it simply, now before we go to Rami Bar Choma, I told you yesterday and I'll say again: the shvua of the Torah. There are two shvuas medoraisa besides Eid Echod. One of them is shvuas shoymerim. I wasn't poshia, yeah, wasn't nignav neva dvchule, or not or end. There's another shvua moedem b'miktsas. The words ki huze, moedem if you look, open Pasha's Mishpatim, you see that the words ki huze, 
describing murder by mixtas, you owe me 100 and you admit on 50, you have to be niche on the other 50, they actually are stuck, so to speak, bang in the middle of Dalit Shomrim. Says Rami Barchoma, oh, the Torah obviously did it on purpose. It's called Eruv Parshius. Rami Barchoma says it's not a mixture of two Parshius that just happen to be there. Rami Barchoma says a tremendous Chiddush. He says a Shomer only has to take Shvua. If he comes to Beit and says, I'm clean, I'm a Shomer Chinam, and I looked after it pretty, pretty well, I'm not a Poshia, usually we would say, take a Shvua. Says Rami Barchoma, no. He only has to take Shvua if he also, besides the issue of was he wasn't he Poshia, he also has another claim on him of Moide Bemiktas. In other words, according to Rami Bar yes, 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 according to Rami Bar the only time you have Shvua Shashomrim is if you have three issues, three boxes to fill. So says Rashi. Let's say there are three irregular Moide irregular Moide Bemiktas slash Shomer. Has listened to this. That's a classical case. There were three cows that are claimed. Okay, comes Mr. Owner to Mr. Shomer Chinam, all red in the face. You owe me three cows. Now he has to be nishba. He has to be koifer and says one cow. Ladam, you never gave it to me, or I gave it back to you a month ago. What are you talking about? Second one, I admit fully. Oh, once he's complete koifer and complete moide, he became what moide bemiktas. He has to take shvu on that. And on the third cow, he says, I looked after it very nicely. I swear to you that I was not poshea, I was not negligent, and therefore I'm potter. Yeah, you have to have three items in order to create two shvuas. The two shvuas go hand in hand. One without the other doesn't go. You understand? And therefore, you always have to have two cows, two items, two candlesticks, two computers, two whatever you want, in order to create a moide bemiktas. For sure, yes. For sure, no. And the third one is an issue of yes or no pshia, did I behave nicely as a shomer, and on that you're nishba. By the way, but of course, what I said was, was I have to correct myself, shvus moedu mixes does appear without shvus a shomer, that's for sure. Let's say I'm not a shomer. Let's say I claim that you stole, I claim that I lent you money, then of course it's moedu mixes. That's not the issue here. Says the Gemara now, Rami Belchom de Omar, Rami Belchom says, Dalit shomerim, all four shomerim, tzrichin, tfira be mixes, voido be mixes. They have to have fira on some of the claim, denial, doido, admitting to part of the claim, and only then the third part they have to do now. Are you good? Yeah. Now, according to that, when, how are we going now to have the ratio and the safer working? The ratio of the Mishnah. Up until now, what did we say? The ratio of the Mishnah, you have to have two cows. According to Rav Chami Bar you have to have three cows, as we're going to explain soon. The Seifa Bedalid. The Seifa is about what? Not about one cow with different times. It's about two cows. We don't know which one, the Sochor or the Shoal, which one died. But you have to have, besides those two, another two. Don't get confused. The Gemara will elaborate it very nice and slow, says the Gemara. Reisha Begimel. Let's read the first case according to Rami Bar Choma. The Omerle, the owner tells the user, Gimel Paris Nasati Lecho. I gave you three cows, and all three of them are under the same agreement. Half day, all three cows had the same state, the same agreement. Half day, they're borrowed, and the other half of the day, all three are rented. Okay, that's case number one and two. Inami, Chad Yom B'Sheilo, B'Chad Yom B'Schirus. All three cars were given Sunday for free, and Monday they were given for money. So, of course, the status changes. Umeisu, Gimel Kulu Be'idon She'ela. And I'm telling you, with all certainty, says the plaintiff, the Toivea, the owner, says, all three died in the time of She'ela. You owe me three cars, my friend. You were shoyal three cars. And all three cows, you got to pay me because the oynes, b'shoyem, kitadalit stuff. Of course you have on sheila, on, on oynes as a shoyel. The omer le shoyel. Now the shoyel's response is each box has a different tick on it. The omer le shoyel. Chada lo yudvarmeoilom. The first cow you're talking about, what are you talking about? You never lent me this cow? I don't know who you I know who you are. I don't know who Bessie the cow is. No, you never lent me Bessie the cow. That one, you never gave me. The other one, in, yes, I agree 
the Eden She'ela Mesa. Let's stop right here. In other words, what did we create now? A full situation of Chayev Shvua, of Moedah B'Miktas, right? Two cows, one a clear no, one clear yes. Rav Chami Bechama doesn't, doesn't believe in maybes. Yeah, one clear yes, one clear no. Now you're ready, Chayev Shvua. Now, and only now, this is a key sentence in the whole Omud. Only at this point, we prepared the ground to be high of the next Shvua called Shvua Sashomrim. And if not for that, he wouldn't be high of Shvua Sashomrim. Now comes the now comes the punchline. The Idach, the third one, Lo Yodana Ibe Eden She'ela Mesa, the Eden Schirus Mesa. The third one, scratching my head, I don't know. I don't know if he was Schirus or She'ela. Now you tell me, guys. Had he said, I know for sure about the third cow, that that third cow was rented and not borrowed, or the time or the, the body, yeah, then what would he have to do? Take Shvua. Take Shvua. Yes, take Shvua. That's Rami Barchono. Because the first two cows created the situation, the background of Moedah B'Miktas, had he said on the third cow, it's not what happened in the Gemara, but had he said on the third cow that I know for sure, not like you, I know that he was what it was really properly looked after. No, no, not properly looked after. It was oinus. It was oinus. And I was a soicher. He'd have to take Shavuot HaShemrim. Take Shavuot HaShemrim that you're a good guy. It was really an oinus. However, it's not what happened. About the third cow, he puts a maybe. And therefore, mitoch shenachayish lishava mishalem. Because he's not chayv on all of them, he has to pay the ladam. He doesn't have to. What he has to do is like this. He has to take Shvua. One of them is Potter. If he takes Shvua on the second one, the one that he that he denies clearly, be Nishba, that really you never saw it, right? You never never got it. And the third one that you're maybe because you chayv Shvua to Shomrim, but you're so wishy washy, you can't take a Shvua, you have to pay. Basically, Rami Barchom is a development on the first answer, just Rami Barchom always requires another. And more more players on the chessboard in order to create a situation of Moide Bemiktas and then followed by Shvosa Shomrim. Now, Seifa, the same concept exactly. It's not that difficult. It's the same concept, just more numbers. Seifa Bedalid. What's the Seifa of the Mishnah? It's not a question about one cow. Did he die in the morning? Basheela afternoon Beschirus. He lent him two cows, one Basheela, one Beschirus. In order to create a moed b'miktas, how many cows do you have to have? Two. One denial, one agreement. And you also have to have another, other two cows for the question of Sheila and Schirus. I think two and two are four. So we have four cows. One for moed b'miktas, one for Shavuot Hashem. Look at the case. Save for Bedalid. There are four cows. The Omer lay, the owner tells the user, Dalid forest and Sati Lecho, I gave you four cows. Gimel b'she'el l'chad b'schirus. And by the way, yeah, that's what, yeah, there were three borrowed, and one was Beschirus for money. Three out of four died. Unlucky you, you don't have luck, mister. All three that died are the ones of She'ela, and though it's Oynes, Yuchayv is a Shoyel. The Omer is The user comes and tells him, listen, I have what to say about all four. Chada Ladam. One of them, nothing doing. I never saw this cow in my life. That brown cow never saw it in my life. You never gave it to me. The Chada, the other one of those two, in the She'ela Mesa, I agree. One of them, yes, it's true. It's a She'ela, and I owe it to you. At this happy note, what does he have to do? He has to take Shvu on what? On the Ladam, right? It's classical, classical, classical. Hey, what about the other two? What about the other two? The Idach, the other two. Lo Yodana, it is Chirus Mesa, the Dekaima, the She'ela. I don't know. If the one that died is a Schirus and the one that survived is She'ela and I'm Potur, because the one that died is Schirus, I don't have to pay for that because it's Oynes by Soicher, Shomer Socho. Oy, the She'ela Mesa, but the Kaima with the Schirus. Or maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know. Maybe the one that died is really the one borrowed and therefore I owe it to you. And the one that survived is the Schirus. I don't know. You don't know. Because he doesn't know. He cannot take Shvua. He has to pay. He'll have to pay all, all, both of the cows. He'd have to pay. Now, that's it. Let's summarize. 
Yeah, I hope to, if I have time today, I don't know if I have time today, I'll write you a chart. If you really follow what's happening here, yeah, basically every every step of the way, we added one cow to the story, right? According to, let, let's revise, let's revise, it shouldn't be confusing. According to Ravun and Rav Yuda, in the let's take the first case, not the second case, okay? There's one cow, there's a dispute about one cow. Whether the cow died while it was borrowed or while it was rented, okay? According to Ravun and Rav Yuda, there's one cow only. One piece on the board here, one cow. He says for sure. The other party, the user says maybe. Bore v'shema, bore yodif. That's it. You chayv, pay me. Bore v'shema, trumps motzim chaver lovarai. No, good. Yofi, happy? Now, second opinion, Rabbi Yochanan of Nachman, they cannot say that. They don't believe in Bore Veshema. So they have to create a situation of what? Of Madhu Mixas. Very good. Madhu Mixas. You have to say there were two cows, right? One cow, he says, Yes, I admit, I'm so sorry. I admit and I'll give it to you. The other cow is a maybe. Madhu Mixas with a maybe is a very little cocktail because you chayev shvua, because you moide on one cow. And the other cow, you're uh -huh, maybe, and therefore you can't be nishma. You got to pay. Rami Bar Choma had to add one more cow. That's three. Why? Because according to Rami Bar Choma, besides besides the shvuas shomrim, you have to have in the background another shvuas ha moide bemiktas fully moide bemiktas. That's the point. Also, I made yesterday, and I didn't I didn't repeat it today. Rami Bar Choma argues on two things. First of all, Rambam Choma says, Shvua Sashormim never exists by itself. It always has to be accompanied by Shvua Moedu Mixas. Secondly, Rambam Choma says, and I, I remember saying it to Mechavrusa, Rambam Choma says, the Shvua of, of Moedu Mixas is not about Moedu Mixas, it's being Koifer Mixas. A person is only Chayv Shvua if he clearly denies one item 100%, right? And the other item is 100% saying yes, then it's Moedu Mixas. Top of that, there's supposed to show me. You have to have three cows. Yeah, two cows to create a for sure yes, for sure no. Five shuos are moidu mixas. Now you also have shuos to show me on the third one. And since you cannot be nishba on the third one, because you yourself say you don't know, imela mitoch sheno cholishav ba mishalem. That's it. One, two, three. I think it's clear now. Baruch Hashem. Yes, Rabbi Isai. Happy. Continue. The setter. Very good. Now let's see the next case. Ze oimer sheula. Case number two is what? The case number two is both sides. Both sides say what? I know what I'm talking about. Says the owner, yes, I know that he was Shaula, borrowed not for money, and you owe me. The other says, I know million and a half percent that he was rented when it died, or the rented one died. So loggerheads one against the other. What do we say? The Socher has to take Shvua. Okay, the Socher has to take Shvua. Break the Gemara. Let's go back now to Ravuna and Rav Yuda. According to them, how many cars are there in this story? Yeah, only one or two at best in the Sefer, right? One car, one rented, one high. That's all. Now, break the Gemara. Why? Why does they have to take Shvua? In other words, if the person says, the, the, the plaintiff, the Tavez, says, I know I lent you. Yeah, I lent you that cow. And he, when he was lent, was borrowed, that's when he died, 100%. Let's say it's two cows, to make it simpler. I want, I claim that Bessie, the one that was, that was borrowed, not for money, that's the one, that's the one that, no, that's the one that died. And what does he say? No, he didn't. That's not the one that died. He says the one that died is the other one. So basically, it's Kofar Bakon. He's completely denying, right? He says, you owe me, the car is worth 10000 and the own And the user says, I owe you zero, because the one that died was rented. No. If so, right? If so, that's Kofar Bakon. That's what I told you in the Mishnah. Why does he have anything? There's no more to be mixed us here. Even though there are two cows, it's, 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 a, it's a smoke screen. There shouldn't be a Shvua. So why is there a Shvua? Beautiful. Why is there a Shvua? This is Mishnah. The Mishnah doesn't believe in Shvua's Hesus. Yeah? If so, why should there be a Shvua? There's no way to be mixed us. Everything you say, I deny. And I claim that the one who died is what? Is Sochor. I owe you zero minus zero. It's Kofar Bakon. So that's it. Goodbye. Why does he owe him any Shvua? Answers the Gemara. Omar Ula. 
על ידי גלגול, או what's גלגול שבוע, גלגול שבוע זה קונספט, גלגול is לגלגל, is to roll over. One, yeah, once, the Torah says in סויטו, in פרשת סויטו, and we'll learn it in מסכת סויטו, דת י"ח, it says in the Torah, ואומר היא שאומן אומן. Once the סויטו, yeah, has to swear that she was not מזנה with another man, we make her also נשבה, that she didn't do it before the marriage or from this man, another man. Let's say he suspected her with uh, the plumber, so she also has to be, make a shua that she didn't have to do also with the air-conditioned guy or with the neighbor, with the banker. In other words, once she's in the shua, he has to also, he can't be megalgel, he'll yeah, roll over, bring in more, drag in other shuas. And that concept appears all over the Torah, and I see you guys know it. And here we have a concept called Gilgul Shvua. Sometimes a person is not Chayv Shvua, but if it's Chayv Shvua on X and the, and, the, and the other side has other claims against him, once he's in a hot seat and he has to be Nishba on, on item X, I can also be Mashbiyahim on Y, Z, A, B, C, D, F, G, right? That's a concept. What's going on over here? Which Gilgul do you have over here? Listen to this. Domer, it's very easy, actually. Domer, Lee, you tell me, guys. Yeah, before we continue, I think you can figure out yourself. <clears throat> What's the story over here? Comes Mr. Owner, says, I know this behemoth was Shaula, you have to pay me. Comes the other guy, says, no, he was Shura. And I'm Potter. Why are you Potter if you're Soicher? Because he was what? Oinsin, right? The Soicher is Shomer Socher. Ah, that for sure you have to be Nishba, right? Of course. Even if you are right, let's follow you along. Let's let's humor you. According to you, you're Soicher. Why are you Potter? Because he was Nensa. Be Nishba, you're not Pasha. Be nishba, you're not looking at your smartphone the whole time while the animal was dying, right? That's for sure you have to be nishba, right? Except for Rami Berchoma. We don't pass on the Rami Berchoma. So, once you have to be nishba on this, you have to be nishba on that. Let's see how the Gemara says it. The Omerli says the Tevea to the user, Ishtabeli izu, izu means however. Yeah, izu, at the end of the day, be nishba to me, mihas, at the end of the day, still the Kedarka Mesa. You still have to be nishba this Kedarka Mesa, that he died naturally, not because of your silly negligence, right? That for sure you have to be nishba, even if we go with you, right? For sure, that's Rosh Hashanah, classical Shabbat Umigo, here Migo doesn't mean Migo, you know. Migo means since. Umigo, the Mishtab, the Kedarko. Once you have to be nishba, that he died naturally, and even though you're Socher, you're Potter, Mesa, the Kedarko Mesa, Mishtab and Mesa, very good. You also have to take a Shvua, that the cow was rented and not borrowed. It's a Gilgul Shvua, according to Ravun and, and, and uh, of Yudah. By the way, Rashi points out that in this point, Rav Nachman and Rav Yechanan are doing better. According to Rav Nachman and Rav Yechanan, we do have a reason to be Nishba. Why? Because according to Rav Nachman and Rav Yechanan, we have Moedah B'Miktas. He claimed two cows and only one says one, yes, one, no. That's why it has to be Nishba. So according to them, it's good. Weiter. Ze Oimer ein yodea vezemer ein yodea. Last case of the Mishnah is both sides are maybe, right? We had four cases in Mishnah. The Tovea is a maybe, the Nitva is a maybe. Both sides are for sure, are certain. We just explained why there's a Shvua. And the fourth case are two maybes, two question marks facing each other, right? What do you say? Split it. Split the cow, split the pot, which means that you'll have to pay him, the owner. You'll have to pay the owner half. Homani, Frege Gmoro, who, who is the author of this Mishnah? Who does the Mishnah follow? Sumchusi, that Mishnah follows the opinion of Sumchus, the Omar, Momo, Nemutal Basofik, Choilkin. Sumchus is the Tana, which Dafla Medheo Mudbeis, Daf Memvovo Mudalef, in Bovekama, in other places, he is the one who is the Mavrik, is always the Chloku, Tarte, Mashma. What is the Choilakon? The famous concept of a Motsim Chavel of Araya. Sumchus, not that he never believes in it, Sumchus many times believes that the Moetzim Chavera doesn't work. For example, over here, I would say, as mainstream opinion, if both sides don't know, leave things as they are. So leave all the money in the pocket of the Shoyel, slash Soicher, right? That, you know what, not I, who am I to talk? That's what Chachomim would say. That's what probably Olocha would say. However, Sumchus says, I don't always believe that the Moetzim Chavera of Araya is the be-all and end-all, we're going to see Bezos Hashem more beyond Daf Kuf Amud Aleph. We're going to look up maybe Tosis there too. And if you dap him, it's discussed much more at length over there. I'll just tell you in short. Sumchus says 
when a person has chazoka on the money, but lemaisa, the sofik is on the cow, and he himself doesn't know what happened to the cow, right? He himself says, eh, eh, I don't know. If the person holding the money is a maybe about the case, listen to what I'm telling you. The question is not, doesn't start with his money. The question starts with a cow. <clears throat> the question is, let's watch the video of which cow died, right? That's really what the Suffolk is. And there, he's no better than the other party, right? Right? He happens to hold the money, lucky him. But Lemaise, he's not really, yeah, it's not logically telling me the truth, especially since he himself says it's a maybe. Had he said, I know for sure that the guy, I saw it and I'm the one in charge and I saw it and, I'm in, and I was there and I saw for sure that this one is the one that died, is a, is a Sochur, not Shoal, plus he holds the money, then even Sumchus would agree that he would hold the money. But since he's a maybe, a maybe Taina, a Chazoka doesn't help a Taina, which is the weak Taina. Chazoka only helps you if you have a good Taina. That's what Sumchus says. I said it's very much in short. We're going to see it uh, later. But this is basically the the shot of Sumchus. Yes. <clears throat> Let's continue. Yeah, okay. Now, production. Now we're going back to Baal of Imoy. Let's have a small recap of Baal of Imoy. Yeah, it's a good Chazorah and good preparation for the next sugya, Bezos Hashem. Not a difficult sugya. If, let's say, I lend you my car for Benaz Manim, all three weeks, I lent my car to someone. As he did Meshicha on the car, let's say, drove it a bit, right? Then, at that very time, I gave him a cup of water. Then what? And something happened to the car later. Does he have to pay? Yes or no? Be'olavimoy. Not, of course. Be'olavimoy. At the time of She'ela, the time when the She'ela started, when the She'ela kicked, when the She'ela kicked in, yeah, when the She'ela was the opening shot of the She'ela, there was service done by the Mash'il to the Sho'el, yeah, to the borrower. Then it can take three weeks, could take three years. Whatever happens in future is exempt. Be'olavimoy. Interesting din Torah, but that's din Torah. True. What happens if it's not a shell but a soichel? Let's say I hired it for money. He rented it for money, and the same thing happened. As he pulled out the car from the garage, I ran after him and gave him a nice and servile cup of coffee. Same thing, right? His potter from what? From Gneva Vaveda, his potter. Yeah, shoel and soichel are the same for that. All very nice. What's the difference between shoel and soichel? Shoel, if not for Baal of Imoy, <laughs> shoel is high boin sin. Is a soicher is potter So far, I didn't say anything new. Okay. But you have to know, it can take, uh, even if the shayla period can be months, years. But if the moment, the moment of, you know, so to speak, conception, the moment when the, when the shayla started, or the schir started, that's the important moment when we say, those bowl of imoy, it follows you for life. The question over here is, what happens if first there was borrowing, and it morphed into rental? What happens then? Let's see. Let's see. Zog de Gmo. Yeah, it's a question. Boy Rababa Ba Memel. Rababa Bamel Memel had a question. Shalo Bebailim. The person borrowed it Bebailim. There was borrowing Bebailim with the owner. Yes. With the owner giving the service. Okay. He borrowed Bolovimoy at the beginning. Later on, the same cow, he rented it without the person doing the service. Exactly what happened, I'm going to tell you. On Sunday, he borrowed it, and the agreement was from Moshe Shabbos until Sunday night. Sunday night, the guy gets a phone call. It was already the end of the term of She'ela, and Mr. Barr says, listen, I really need your car for one more day. Do you mind? And the guy says, uh, I don't mind, but now, you know, I'm sorry. It's going to be for money. Today, I'm a nice guy, but there's a limit. Monday will be for money. Okay, 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 I'll pay you, no problem. Okay. And you know what happened on Monday? Crash, boom, trach, poop. What happened? The cow or car died, and they died, what? Let's say, not even Boines, Begneva Ve Aveda, which as a renter, you would be chayev as a renter. But you know what happened? Is the Baal of Imoy. Does the Baal of Imoy of the borrowing that continued in Toronto, 
do we say the Baal of Imo continues all the way to the rental? Or do we say there's a stop in the middle between the borrower and the rent? And we say, no, the Baal of Imo helped the borrowing. Now, the rental is a whole new agreement. Do we say there was a seamless continuation? Or do we view it as a new agreement, which doesn't have that gracing factor of the saving grace of Baal of Imo? What does it depend on? Look at the Gemara. Shall we say, Each one exists of itself. The Sheila is a Sheila. The nice phone call on Sunday night is a whole new, a, a beginning, all new agreement, standing by itself. And there is like a wall in between. And therefore, the ball of Imo doesn't help. So now you may ask a question which Rashi says, So how, how did the Sheila begin? You can't just talk. And by talking alone, you can't become a Shoimer, right? There has to be a Kenyan. Says Rashi, there was a Kenyan. Where was the cow on that fateful Sunday night between Sheila and Schirz? Where was it physically located? In the house of the borrower. It's called Kenyan Chotzer. That verbal agreement, Kenyan Chotzer, it's in his house. And we said already before, Kenyan Chotzer is good as Mashiach. So basically, it's a whole renewal of the, of the lahav deal online, right? Sometimes you have an annual prescription, right? And subscription. And sometimes it, it renews automatically. Sometimes you have to fill in your credit card details again, right? So that's more or less the question. Do we say it's a new story, the rental? And it's nothing to do with the Meshicha, the pulling over here. It's a new Kenyan of Kenyan Chotzer. And therefore, the Baal of Ima won't work for you anymore. The battery <laughs> is already dead. The battery of Baal of Ima doesn't work anymore. It's not lasting to help you anymore. It's a new start. It's a new story. Very nice. Or Dilma, or maybe. Schirus be She'ela may shach shaychi. Or maybe you can say no. Schirus and She'ela are connected to each other. Why? Da mechaiv be Gneve Vaveda. Because they both share one thing in common denominator, Gneve Vaveda, theft and loss. In other words, when it comes to Oynes, Oynes is only, you only have by Oynes by borrowing, not by renting. So it's different. On the other end, when it comes to Gneve Vaveda, that's a common denominator all the way through. Since they share the same common denominator, I would say no. Maybe it just continues by verbally talking. In other words, it's, a, it's an automatic renewal. I don't have to have Kenyan Chotzer. In other words, it was Mashiach on She'ela. If anything, it died out. It, it continued even easier, even less. I had three Chiyuvim on Sunday, and they were all potter because of all of Imoy. Now it continues seamlessly because the same Chiyuv of theft and loss, Gneva Vareda, continues all the way to the rental period automatically because the share debt is a common denominator, not just common denominator, yeah? Maybe you can't add to the agreement. You're taking away from the agreement. It's even easier, right? I was high on three things. I'm high only two. So it just goes on, goes, glitches, continues, gliding through. So maybe, and therefore, the ball of him of the beginning will help the second part of the schirus. That's a question. Imtim tziloima. Oh, now we're going to have this like flow chart kind of thing, yeah? If you want to tell me, that's true that Sechirus, renting, is Meshach, is connected and follows, dragged along with what? With Meshach Shaychi of the She'ela, of the borrowing. It's even less. If somebody gave you 200 shekels, now you have 100. Now, what about the other way around? Oh, what about it was the other way around? If it started with rental and continued into borrowing, and now something increased, right? What about the other way? What about if it started with renting, and now for the second day, he wants to borrow? So he wants to add, he wants to add a commitment, right? Now he's chai be'oinsin. That's a whole new question. Let's see what the Gemara says. Shalo shalo be'bailim ma'u, sochro be'bailim, shalo shalo be'bailim. Yeah, in other words, it started Baal of Imo of Schirus and continued to She'ela. Is that as seamless? She'ela be Schirus vade lo shaycha. No way. She'ela cannot follow Schirus. Why? Because it has more. Yeah, if you have a car that holds five people, you can't have the sixth person there. Yeah, illegal, impossible. In other words, I would say no. The Schirus was good enough, and the Baal of Imo helped me for rental because rental is weaker. Now you're adding. Now it's you're going up now in automatically. You want to tell me you're adding Sheila and be high of more? No. So the first tour doesn't have the second one. Oi Dilma, or maybe no. 
כיוון דשייכה במקצס כמעט דשייכה בכולה דמי. At the end of the day, the still share, גנבה ואבידה. Maybe you can still look at what you call the lower, the lower common denominator. And you say what? At the end of the day, they do have something in common. They both are chayv b'gneva v'aveda, as opposed to shomer chinam, let's say, right? So maybe we can still glide along and say it's automatically the same agreement and the same exemption here would still work over here. And we continue to the next case. In tim tziloimar, lo yamrinan. It's not so clear why this is a tim tziloimar. It's a question of Russian and Toysavis. I'm not going there right now. In tim tziloimar, if you want to tell me, lo yamrinan, kevan deshecha b'miktsas, keman deshecha b'kul adami. Let's say it's a problem. Let's say it's an issue, really. And let's say if somebody did a schirus, you can't automatically continue to into Sheila because Sheila demands more. You don't have the energy of Sheila when you started schirus. If you say that, I'll ask you now a more twisted question. Shalom bebailim, v'socha shalom bebailim, v'chozo v'shalom ma'u. Get the question? Sunday, he borrowed it without money bebailim. Monday, there was a phone call. Can I have it? Yes, you can have it for money. Tuesday, <laughs> they're back to Shaila. Get it? There was Shaila, Schirus, and Shaila. Up, down, and up. There was Shaila, very committing. Then Schirus, less committing. And then Shaila, it's like, like a valley. Yeah, like a graph going down. Shaila, Schirus, and then Shaila again. What would you say over there? Then Hadar, Asila, Shaila, the Duchta. Let's say at the end, on Tuesday, he died by Oynes. Now it's very interesting. What are you going to say? Do we say, let's forget about that Monday episode when it was only Schirus, She'ela is back to its old glory. On Sunday, there was She'ela, how? By what? With Baal of Imoy and Potter. Monday, there was a situation which didn't relate. But now, Tuesday, I'm back to She'ela. We decided Tuesday I'll be a Shoyal for no money. So now you can say, hey, I'm back to the old glory, the old story of Sunday, of Sheila, Sheila, Schiru, Sheila. Oh, that Sheila may yes be connected to the original Sheila, and that original Sheila was Baal of Imoy. So maybe the Tuesday Sheila continues that, and his Baal of Imoy is, uh, is exempt. Or Dilma, or maybe no. If sik, af sikila Schiru, Beni, Beni. I can say no, uh-oh, the Schiru stopped it. If we say Sheila and Schiru are not friends, and are not automatically seamlessly continuing, then no. Then you can say there was one Sheila. Schirus is Berlin Wall. It's not continuing. It's all new story. And now the Sheila, uh-uh, a new Sheila is a new Sheila. So the Baal of Imo of, of Sunday doesn't help the Sheila of Tuesday. Maybe. There are two Tzdodim. Now, okay, a fourth situation, which is more, which is more Mechudosh. Soch Rabbi Bailim. Now, the, the, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Sochro bebailim. Sunday he rented it for money with Baal of Imoy. Bishalo. Monday again he borrowed for no money, but more commitment. He's chayv on oinsin. Because of a sochro mau. There was schirus, she'el of a schirus. Yeah, that's worse. That's... Not Baal of Imoy. Never ever. Monday, Tuesday, never. In all four cases here, the Baal of Imo was only at the beginning, only Moshe Shabbos, when, when the saga started. Yeah? Baal of Imo, and then two things happened. So again, there was She'el on Sunday with Baal of Imo. Yeah? Excuse me. Now, in this case, is Sochro. Yeah? There was rental Bebailim. Shalo. Now, that's worse. Why is it worse? Because the Monday episode of Shalo, you're, you're adding stuff. Shalo is more Mechaev than Schirus. Schirus is Potter Boynes. She'el is Mechaev Boynes. You, you, you're adding heavier burden to the original agreement of the beginning. And then nothing happened. Well, it all went out okay. And then again, Schirus on Tuesday. There was Schirus, She'ela, and again Schirus the third day. And of course, that's when things went bad by Gneva Vaveda. Now, what are you going to say? Again, going up and down. Miam Rina, do we say Asil Schirus Le Do we say Schirus is back to its place? There was Schirus, She'ela, and Schirus. I don't care there was this glitch in the system in the middle. It's all back to clear, clear coast. There was Schirus at the beginning with Baal of Imoy. And Tuesday, there's Schirus Baal of Imoy. I don't care about the glitch in the middle. Yeah, Oy Dilma. And therefore, Baal of Imoy would work. The first Baal of Imoy would still function for the end of the story. Oy Dilma, no, maybe not. We say, no, 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 you can't ignore the dark past. There was She'ela in the middle. 
and she'ela cannot be naturally dragged along after schirus because she'ela has a higher demand. It's even worse. So therefore, there was schirus she'ela. <clears throat> you can't get off that resume. You can't take that out of your CV at that time. And now it's a whole new story. Now you have schirus. It's a new schirus. And the old, the all of emo of the first schirus does not function for the new schirus of the non baal of of Tuesday. So what are you going to do? Teiku. Remain in the teiku, remain in the questions. So whoever holds the money keeps holding the money. Yes, I'm listening to your questions now. Okay, the Seder, we're not going down to Russian toys first. I think we can we can finish this year now. Have a great day. May Mashiach come yeah. soon. And we should see the Gula Shlema Bimheo Bimeinu with Ach Basam Israel and Besam Mikdash. Thank you to everyone in Torah anytime. Follow the show on our YouTube channel. Thank you.